Hi, I'm Kieran, and I live in Australia, Western Australia, in Bunbury. I'm Patricia, I live in the United Kingdom. It was the best place for food, and also like the heritage re regeneration. So last year we did we did the walking tour of of, of Ipo from the train station here. So all this is very good, and all the new cafes. And the center of town, old town, is, is very easy to walk, but um, yeah, that's adequate. But must must must, must drive to park first. <laughs> We're lucky we have our own car and private driver, so, so public transport we don't use other than train is very handy now to get to our port. My name is Noelia, I come from Argentina and I've been in Ipo for two days. I had to ask people where to go and where the stars are because I didn't see so many tourist places, uh, tourist people. For a hostel, I was looking for a hostel and I had to walk a lot because I didn't know in what area they were. It, uh, it's good to walk, but sometimes it was hard to cross the street because I didn't know when the cars were stop. But otherwise it was good. I come from a city in Argentina that is like this. It's a small town. It's between a city and a town and it's uh, historical, you know, heritage. Uh, and it's a little bit cleaner, uh, less cars, more organized, but it's two different cultures, so I guess it's fine, it's okay. Uh, I'm Raymond, I'm Raymond Lee from Canton, Ch China. Yeah, um, uh, it's the second time for me to be Malaysia. I came here yesterday and I'll leave this afternoon. The old town is tiny, so you can yeah, hang out by walking. I think um, Malaysia is a country um, combined, um, yeah, combined by uh, many different races. Yeah, India, uh, the Malaysian, uh, the uh, orang Malayu. Orang India, Orang Tiongkok, yeah. I don't think um, Ipoh have, have other famous sites for site, uh, sightseeing. They're only my interest as all I focused on is the food. Uh, from local Ipoh, uh, been for more than 10 years in Penang and uh, just moved back here for almost four years because I gave birth to three kids <laughs> so for, for easier life I choose to move back with my family so that we can have some relatives here to help taking care of my kids lah. Personally, Penang has a more, how to say, a more hectic uh, life, uh, more pressurizing. Uh, whereas in Ipoh, the life here, lifestyle here is more slow, and uh, usually we will see, still see some bicycles on the road. Um, what else? We still have many old folks here and uh, not so developed compared with Penang. Uh. I think actually for a person who likes the city lifestyle, uh, Penang is still 
better. <laughs> uh, but for education wise, uh, like for my kids uh, when they want to grow up, uh, the city life has more variety of choice and entertainment. That's why I choose to come back if uh, for education wise, not so many choices, uh, more calm town, something like that. So uh, it's a better choice for those who want a peaceful life. Uh. Uh, This is considered advancing already. Uh, it's getting more better, better and better nowadays. And uh, I like this place because I'm first time coming here, so I find that it's very nice. Uh, it's like I have been uh, another place, uh, tourist feeling. Uh. I think it's very good to remain the heritage, so uh, it's fine with the current status. I just went to the railway station, but I couldn't find any uh, pamphlets. Yeah, a free pamphlet, free tourism maps there. Yeah, I think uh, some more um, materials that in introduces uh, this city, this town, will be helpful to new visitors to this city. Maybe more signs about uh, touristic place, places, like where to go, what to visit. I'm going to Penang next. Um, they told me it's a very nice island, touristic. 